So uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name's James Harris. I'm the Managing Director at Volumatic, uh, and I'm delighted to welcome you all here today to the King, new King, Note, King Charles Note webinar. Um, after a short introduction from myself, I'll be handing over to the Bank of England. Uh, we're delighted to have them here to take everybody through uh, the process of the introduction of the new notes. Um, we had uh, over 100 registrations uh, for this webinar, uh, predominantly from the uh, retail community. So we've got all the big UK grocery retailers, so Tesco, Morrisons, Sainsbury's and Asda. Uh, there's lots of other retailers, the likes of uh, Iceland and Curry's and uh, Matalan and Greggs and the Card Factory and, and many more. Um, from the banking community, we've got NatWest and Voltex and Barclays and Nationwide. Uh, and from the CIT community, the likes of uh, Loomis and G4S. So, so welcome to you all. Um, the way this is going to go is I'm shortly going to hand over to the Bank of England, as I said. They'll go through a, a brief presentation. Um, if anybody has any questions relating to the presentation, please put them in the messaging section and I'll facilitate uh, those at the end of the Bank of England session. And then we'll wrap up with a few slides for anybody who's an existing Volumatic customer and would like to know next steps for upgrading their existing equipment. Uh, so without further ado, uh, I'd like to welcome the Bank of England. Six. Uh, good morning, all. James and Volumatic. Thank you for inviting us to the uh, to the webinar today. I'm just checking that you can all hear me if I can get some thumbs yes, that's up. Yes, great. Oh, hopefully brilliant. Uh, hopefully you can all see as well the presentation that we've got uh, together. Yes, if I can get some assurance. Yes, yes, brilliant. Um, Yes, thank you, James. I'm Mr. Gonzalez. I'm a senior analyst in the notes directorate, uh, and I have with me uh, as well two other colleagues, Stu Cooper and uh, Matt Cleveland. If you want to introduce yourselves quickly, Stu. Thanks, SD. Yeah, so I'm um, I'm a manager here at the Bank of England. I cover a few things, um, obviously. One of them is today. Um, I work closely with SD on industry engagement, more generally um, around cash. So I was trying to find out in terms of the Bank of England, what's going on out there in terms of trends, um, logistics, whatever it might be around cash. And then the other side of um, a side of what we do on our team is anything around communications about banknotes more generally, um, whether that's when you see something about new banknotes or coming out or old banknotes being withdrawn in the press or on social media, and also um, anything that's out there about best practice on how to check banknotes. So, um, you know, if you've got people at your businesses doing face-to-face -face, um, acceptance of, um, of banknotes, that we we produce those training materials that help them, you know, your your staff do that to the um, the best they can. So that's it for me. Hi, I'm Matt Cleveland. I'm a technical expert working within the banknote security and design team. Uh, my work covers a variety of different areas, uh, including counterfeit and understanding the counterfeit threat that is uh, faced against the the Bank of England banknotes, um, but also with the machine testing framework. So working closely with the BEMS, the equipment manufacturers. Uh, and ensuring that their machines are uh, updated and capable of handling any new notes and outsourcing any counterfeits. Thank you, Stu. Thank you, Matt. Uh, we have a very well attended forum today and um, there will be some overlap because with some of you, we've been working very closely over the last few months. Uh, so you would have seen a very similar um, uh, presentation to this one or some of our communications. Some of you may be, may be new to, uh, to our contact list, so we'll, we can um, uh, put you in touch later on. Um, so yeah, if, if I could have the first slide, please. So what to expect? We have new uh, um, banknote designs coming in in uh, the second half or, or in the, sorry in the second quarter of the year um the year bank uh, unveiled the design at the end of 2022 uh, and uh, said to the public that we would release the banknotes in uh, in Q2 2024 um from that time onwards, we've been working closely with our industry contacts 
uh, from Debden side and our side in the communications team. Um, and um, we have asked industry initially that they would complete their updates by the end of, of March. Um, in terms of the, the additions, it's a slightly different or well, quite different really release to what we've had in the past, for instance, with the polymer. Uh, on this occasion, we have all four denominations uh, will enter circulation from the same day. So that is the 5, the 10, the 20, and for those of you that also uh, do the 50 and uh, the 50 as well. So that's the same day. Uh, the exact date when when uh, the notes will be uh, entering circulation will be announced in the next uh, in the next few weeks. Um, as I said, it's going to be a, 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 an insurance slightly different in that it's going to be a gradual uh, insurance of of these nodes, unlike with the polymer nodes. Why is that? Um, it's a it's a, a, a much simpler in a way a release in that um, the security features of the nodes are the same, say per denomination. If I have a, a let's say I've got a Unfortunately, I don't have a, a king note, but if I had a king note and I have here a 10 pound note and it's a Queen Elizabeth, the only the size of the uh, per denomination, the size of the note remains the same. The features, the security features, the material, the polymer, all the features remain unchanged. The, the, the real change is the um, is the portrait of the monarch. And for that, um, as, as you would have seen if you've started doing uh, having the updates from from the BIMS, from the banknote equipment manufacturers, typically it's the um, the um, 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 my apologies. The, it's it's the recognition of that that front. Um, mm, uh, sorry, this is not coming up. Um, the, of the front monarch that that changes. Um, so we first that these machine updates are, are, are updated by essentially by Q1 to start with. Um, for for many of you, those that are in our contact list and in confidence to industry, we've now uh, a couple of weeks ago did notify you all in terms of uh, planning for planning purposes that the actual uh, fortnight that we, when we are planning to uh, to release the notes uh, is the first fortnight of, of June. But again, uh, until we make an announcement to the public in the next few uh, in the next few weeks, we are asking you that you keep that for planning purposes. In terms of um, the, uh, the existing Queen Elizabeth notes, those those notes and that's something that is very different from what we've done before and like with the paperback notes will continue to be legal tender until further notice so what that means is that only damaged notes will be removed from circulation i.e uh, the number of notes that are entering circulation to start with will be proportionally smaller than what we have for uh, for the queen notes uh, but they will co-circulate and there's no plan for now to to discontinue or make the the queen uh, elizabeth notes um uh, not legal tender uh, some some of the questions that have been asked to us in the past for instance how does it work uh, in terms of the um, the gas in transit, the CIT, or returning uh, notes to to the gas centres, uh, we are not expecting that uh, that the, there's differentiation per the denomination of the king and uh, queen um, notes. I, if you have a, a cassette, say that has got twenties, um, we are not asking that you recognize the, or separate the two of them. So that's that's one uh, question that typically comes up. Um, may I have the, the next slide, please? Yeah, thank you. So these are the typical machines and obviously you coming from different sectors uh, of the industry that we are likely to uh, to find in the industry. 
So if you are a bank or if you are a rail operator, a retailer, a self-checkout, those are the, the classic ones. And we've been working very closely, particularly with 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 certain sectors that uh, that are in a uh, in a contact list from from previous releases and that we've continued to to enhance. There's other new products uh, such as intelligence saves that you have to consider for the future that may need to uh, to have the the updates as well. Yeah, next, next slide, please. Um, so again, you may have seen some of these already. Hopefully many of you have got, or most of you, I think, will have the, the updates from your manufacturer, from the BEM. Um, why do we need to make these changes? They need to recognize certain machines will need to recognize and authenticate uh, the, the nodes. Uh, the port rate is changing. So unlike, for instance, um, for coins, it's a very different exercise. Typically, um, the the uh, the coins go on different metrics such as such as weight and size, but it doesn't recognize whether it is a, um, a one monarch or the other. Just to just to um, reiterate, for those I'm sure that you know, is the mint. Uh, that does the um, the royal mint that does coins. So so we are responsible for the issues of the, these four denominations of banknotes. Um, in terms of the weight, again uh, within within tolerance, the weight is is the same for uh, for King or uh, Queen Elizabeth notes. And in terms of the gadgets or the devices that we have to to check the notes. Um, again, the ultraviolet lamp uh, will will uh, generally also work. I have the next slide, please. Um, training materials are going to be available closer to the time when we release the um, the uh, the notes. Uh, but also and will be available in the same way in our website. Uh, also, we have Stu here, which can take us through the, the, the details of that. But uh, like with other, other releases, there will be available um, uh, certain videos, post, post notes and so on. The next slide, please. Um, so for now, that's that's. I think I'm going to open the floor for questions. Um, as I said earlier, many of you, we've already been talking throughout these months. Some of you, we have contacts, but we haven't had the luck to, to speak to you. If you would like to be part of our database or if you have any questions uh, outside of this meeting, obviously I'm going to open the, the floor now for questions. Um, please do use the, this email, the gas industry inquiries at the bottom of, of the slide. We would love to talk to you about these notes and hopefully be able to answer any questions that you have. Um, at this stage, I'm just going to see whether you have any, any questions. I believe you're muted, James. OK, so as things stand in the chat, I haven't got any questions at the moment, Esty. Uh, if anybody has a last minute question, feel please feel free to use the messaging uh, section on the on the Teams application. I'll give you a couple of moments. Mm -hmm. It must have been a very comprehensive presentation. Thank you, Esty, because nobody has any questions for. Oh, oh, here we go. Here's one come in. Uh, when would it be recommended for us as a business to contact providers of note machines to update machines? Right, I'm not sure who this question is from, but um, ASAP, if you haven't done so already, most of the the uh, the manufacturers, we've been working with the manufacturers for the last year uh, and, and beyond, um, and most of the manufacturers have already deployed or provided the uh, the updates to to their customers, so you would have had a conversation with them by now. If not, please do so ASAP. It's, it's a much simpler release, as in it's a software release, or it should be a software rather than a hardware release, like in previous releases. But um, yes, do so ASAP. 
OK, so hopefully that answers your question, Lauren. If you're an existing Volumatic uh, customer, we'll be going on to some slides after this to help you understand what you need to do with us. Um, got another question from Bob at G4S. Um, is the rear of the notes the same for both king and queen notes, so only the front side changes? Uh, yes, Bob, that's right. It's only the, the front of the note really that, that changes. Although you have to bear in mind that we have in the window also the portrait of the of the monarch. Um, but essentially, in terms of this is what I wanted to the word that I wanted to to say earlier. The template typically that the the machines recognize it's it's where it is amending in in that software. But we also have Matt here if he wants to add anything else to it. Okay. Um... I have a question from Colin Ross, uh, who says, will the King Charles note still get rolled out if a change of monarch happens between now and the release? I don't think that's a likely occurrence, uh, and I don't know if uh, the Bank of England have a contingency for that, but I don't know if you want to comment, Esty. Um, I think hopefully it will not happen. There's been <laughs> a lot of work over the last over the last few months, a year and, and a bit. Um, and I think even if we had, we 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 wouldn't be able to say uh, to to this forum. So uh, I'm going to reserve judgment here. But obviously, we will, uh, yeah, we will we will uh, react if something happens to a current monarch. Okay. A question that we hope is not going to be relevant. OK, I think that's it for the questions. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank SD um, for uh, the contributions that she's made in terms of sharing this information with everybody. Uh, and for those of you who are uh, volumatic customers and would like to understand what's going on with our equipment, I'm going to switch over to sort of a few quick slides on that. Um, other than that, thank you everybody for your attendance and I hope it was useful for you today. Thank you for inviting us, James. Many thanks. OK, so in terms of volumatic customers and, and preparing your devices for the new King Charles notes, uh, it depends on what devices you've got in your business, uh, but whatever you have, uh, you will be contacted by us um, in next steps over the next 48 hours. Um, if you use our CCI or one of our friction note counters or our BV30 forgery detector, you will need to update your software, which you can download from our support website, um, or you can contact us directly and our support team will take you through it. Um, um, as Esty said, if you're using count by weight machines, there's no changes to the weights and so no changes are required. If you are a volumatic customer, you should already have um, access to our customer support login um, and um, you can see an image of that there on the screen. And if you have an existing login, just use your username and your password and follow the instructions as per there. Um, if you for any reason don't have a login uh, to the customer support website, you can contact our customer support team with the number there and also the email address to get through to them. And they'll be happy to walk you uh, through the process. Uh, in addition to that, we will be releasing the slides from the Bank of England and these slides from Volumatic via social media and email stuff as a campaign immediately after this. Uh, and we hope that you um, have no issues updating your equipment. Uh, so that's it from me. Thank you very much, everybody, uh, and enjoy the rest of your day. Cheers. <laughs>